so welcome everybody it's jason here from dizzy infinity tv and uh i'm going to be doing a solo due to technical difficulties going to be doing a solo trailer breakdown of the new re newly released information about donald duck coming to disney infinity the donald duck figure in my opinion is close to a masterpiece i don't know similar similar to the aladdin uh figure i will say it is got this just slightly off element to it i believe i remember seeing a little while ago a rumor about um well when donald duck was listed as a rumor it was listed in one of the databases from japan or someone as the donald duck from the mickey mouse clubhouse does that sound right to you, Ben? Give us a nod if that sounds like something you... Yep, that's what I thought too. So I'm assuming that is correct. Uh, but that um, that uh, version of Donald Duck is absolutely fine with me. But I just think it's classic that they've given him the, the classic angry Donald Duck look. I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, I can't... I think... Have I seen... I'm not sure if I've seen pictures of Donald Duck next to any other figures, but I, I, I got from the look that I saw of him in a packet shot that he looks like he could be quite a small figure um, compared to some of the other ones, which is, you know, quite, quite interesting. Um, but we got some other screenshots too, and I'll just cycle through these. Um, this one, somewhat interestingly, uh, this in the background here, this kind of looks like a... And I think it's probably just coincidence, but this kind of looks like to me the um, like a tree version of the uh, whatever. What's the T Rex figure in Toy Story? It kind of looks like that to me, but it could be a complete, uh, complete and utter, utter fluke. Um, oh, you can't see my mouse, but just above um, Donald Duck's uh, head, it kind of looks like the um, the dinosaur from from Toy Story. Uh, I think it is. I think it is just in front of a treehouse, but um, still. And, and I'll, I'll cycle through some of these because we don't. Have, this one here is just just this this one screenshot alone of a Donald Duck chasing um, Chip and Dale, Chip and Dale um, villagers. This summarizes to me what Donald Duck, and I'll speak on this a little bit later on. But this summarizes to me what Donald Duck uh, and Mickey Mouse in a game are all about about creating toy boxes that harken back to the to the disney classic cartoons the disney classic shorts um so i think that's a great picture obviously with some of the classic disney figures um again nothing too special other than just loving the density that 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 2.0 brings to uh the toy boxes um and um just another great shot of seeing some of the classic um disney characters all in the in the same screen this this uh donald duck pose here normally i would have said is you know uh pre-done so to speak but this is clearly in engine and i and i saw in if anyone hasn't seen the interview i did with john day just recently they demoed to me and i'm not sure whether it showed up in the video in the background because obviously i wasn't watching but they showed me how in the toy box you can actually assign different um, emotions effectively to your characters and so on and trigger those emotions based on certain things. So it's very possible that we can have this great looking uh, Donald Duck emotion in our toy boxes, which is just going to add a, a whole nother level of storytelling to our toy boxes, which is part of the reason why I'm so excited about them, because they have given us far greater storytelling uh tools um but yeah as i said there's nothing ground baking in these shots that i visualized this one for whatever reason this one and the next one uh this one here there's something so cool about having donald in the shot even more so than mickey alongside like in this shot particularly, Donald alongside Maida and uh, Elsa. Just, I don't know, it, it just drums up the nostalgia for me and, and just sort of re-brings re home the, the promise of all the Disney, um, all the Disney characters being together in the same place, playing together. And I hope, someone actually just asked a question um, 
via email just before and I'll, I'll sort of allude to it here I really hope that we see some great interactions between some of these characters some actual inter dialogue between them all I think that would be fascinating to um, you know have Donald Duck one of the original Disney characters to be able to you know verbally interact with Elsa one of the you know the brand new characters would be amazing I don't know if we're going to get that kind of level of interaction but I hope that that um, you know does does come to pass and also that hammer shot also bringing home the fact that clearly this Donald is going to be a represented properly in his uh, quick to anger method quick quick to method uh, quick to anger attitude I guess but he just also looks a lot of fun. I'll certainly be playing with him uh, regularly. And here we have a good shot of the, um, what I believe to be the uh, Gravity Falls um, uh, golf cart, I believe, is in this shot. Have we had an announced power disc for that? Or is that an unannounced Gravity Falls item? It would have to be a power disc. Oh no, it could be just a toy, couldn't it? It could be a toy. Yeah, so that could just that could just be a, a toy that's bought in that you unlock. But more interestingly, we're guessing that this background is from the new Planes movie. Planes Fire and Rescue. I mean, it's a, clearly a foresty type thing with fire so what else could that be other than a pretty grim representation of maybe the B bambi intro <laughs> um so we'll assume that that's the uh fire and rescue um so i think that is that the oh and this is the power disc that we've that's been announced so this is super interesting because this i don't know i was talking to ben before the show that you couldn't hear um Yes, this is the all for one power disc, which gives Donald the um, the costume change into his musketeer costume, which is interesting because a this disc is clearly labeled Donald, clearly labeled you know the musketeer. My question is, will this same disc give Mickey Mouse a musketeer costume change, or are we going to see another? costume change this specifically for mickey and then this also brings if you're gonna have donald in a three musketeers outfit is this a um a hint that we are going to be getting goofy in 2.0 which that would make the most sense to me that we have mickey donald and goofy all capable of having a musketeer outfit on and my gosh wouldn't that create some phenomenal toy boxes to be able to have three player co-op uh musketeer action with the uh the the bulk of the 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 fab five um and uh yeah so that's 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 my little theory anyway i wouldn't be too surprised if we see goofy there's still a, a lot of disney original characters yet to be announced as far as i can tell but if you actually go to DizzyInfinity.tv and go to our characters page and look at our database and go to the 2.0 figures, the actual Dizzy Originals collection is looking really cool now. It's really starting to build up to an amazing amount of just rich characters, even you know far outweighing what 1.0 offered us. It's a really exciting group of characters that's going to create an amazing amount of gameplay opportunity. Um, so... Ben is just reminding me that the Blu-ray for the Three Musketeers apparently came out today. Did you say, Ben? Celebrating the 10th anniversary, that movie has been released. So there's, um, again, I guess that's, I, I would put that towards more um, um, proof that we're probably going to get Goofy in 2.0. I, I don't know. That's a strong bet from me. Anyway, um... Hopefully you guys will get, uh, I'll put this on the, the to do list. Hopefully you guys will get a chance to talk in the next podcast about what, uh, other like classic, classic Disney infinity characters we'd like to see released next. Cause I've been obviously hoping for Donald duck for a long time. Uh, and if I throw my two cents in right now, I'm hope my next campaign is going to be, I really want to see captain hook and or Smee being introduced. 
because uh, uh, we've already got one Disney Classics villain, but I'm sure we can fit another uh, another couple in there. But anyway, let's get on with the trailer because I've got no idea how long we're going for. So, um, without ado, let's see if the trailer doesn't stuff up for me. Ghost Police says one's Pluto. I would kind of agree with that. Uh, so they gave him a really cool intro, I thought, in this trailer. Don't you think, Ben? <laughs> epic is the epic is the word, and uh, we have a few uh, examples of. There's obviously um, one of the uh, cars um, characters. I think they were in 1.0 from memory. Um, cars, what are they called? Villages. Oh, I've just noticed the trailer I'm using has got the Australian rating system. If any of you US viewers are wondering what that PG is, that's our that's our uh, rating system. Parental guidance, mild violence, and online interactivity, apparently. So, there you go. Um, these toy boxes seem so much larger. So much larger than 1.0. I just That's what keeps hitting me every time I watch one of these trailers. I love these new mountains too. There he is. That shot there, to me, particularly harkens to like the original, original Donald Duck. Like I'm talking, you know, like black and white days. Something about his uh, beak or whatever there is is very, very classic. So we have Donald here throwing a boot. Can anyone tell me in the chat, does this boot look familiar? I feel like this boot's got to mean something. But it's a pretty cool boot. Anyways. Just, and a lamp. Look at the stars. That's classic. Yeah, what is the terrain? It's an interesting terrain. Let me see if I can go back a bit and just get a good shot of it there. Um, it looks material-esque, almost. I did see in one of the photos earlier, like a tartan type um, um, texture. So I don't know whether it's similar to that. Okay, so here we go. Here's the Three Musketeers. costume uh yeah so this is the first time we saw aladdin in his alternate costume correct yeah it's uh it's kind of cool um again i just i just can't you don't have one of the three musketeer costumes without bringing in the rest like that's just my feeling on it okay Hey, that's interesting. I can see the um, in the background there. The um, you can't see it yet, but when the stream catches up, the um, a horse off. Oh no, was that one point oh? Yeah, yeah. The horses in the merry-go-round horses. I feel like I know someone created a toy box where you could ride, and it looked like you. They used the fans, and it was like you were on. A, um, like on a horse from the thing, but that's an actual merry-go-round horse. Yeah, totally from Mary Poppins. Yeah, when they ride the horse thing, that'd be pretty cool. If that's, I just can't remember. No, I don't think they were in 1.0. Surely not, because someone would have put those in the um, would have put that in the numerous theme park toy boxes we saw. So that's cool. So that's got to be a rideable. I imagine that's like a rideable vehicle, just like in Mary Poppins. So yeah, see, it wasn't a waste of our time, people. It was worth hanging on through all the technical difficulties to find that little nugget. I uh, can't wait to drive this Main Street Electrical Parade vehicle, by the way. Want the music. This is Pigs in Space, which I'm again a huge fan of. Few people have mistakenly 
uh, suggested this might be an X-Wing, but it's clearly Guardians of the Galaxy related. I haven't seen the film yet, but I'm pretty sure there's a power disc for this, um, for this particular vehicle. Oh, it's Avengers. The Avengers. Right, so, so it's possibly Hawkeye related then. So Matt eighty eight G is telling me Avenger Quinn Jet in the uh, in the chat room. So I'll believe you, but regardless, this is what X Wing is going to look like. I'm pretty sure, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> like that's the exact side of size that I want an X Wing to look like. In fact, that whole thing there looks like an homage to the to the uh, trench battle from Star Wars. So that t let's take that as a hint, people. Look at the explosions. That's straight up trench run action. Pretty sure we'll get that to download day one. Again, look at that. Look at the animation. It's fantastic. I love these buildings. I can't wait to see all the, the Donald Duck creations. I can't wait to see any of the Fab Five creations. Is there anyone hidden in this screen that anyone can see? I don't think so. They all look like um, 1.0 characters to me. Yeah, I don't know what that... Uh, oh, yeah, no, no. That, I think that palace back there, Ben's just referencing, I think that's the small world facade, isn't it? I think that's it. It's a small world facade that we've seen available in the toy box. Um, so expressive, Donald. This is a good representation of how big Donald is. He's clearly a small figure. Um, which, again, I guess is accurate. Donald's not no giant by any means. He's small, he's funny, he's angry. Is there any other better description to to Donald Duck? I think that's it. Did we get the... I see there he is in his box. Uh, it's hard to tell his size from the box there, but again... Good box. Do we get the... I didn't even watch the end of this. Do we get the gag at the end? Yes, we do. Oh, that was classic. Look at that. Well, that's it, Ben. Um, and listeners, I'm, I'm, I think it's a great. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I hope we get to see more of the originals. And um, yeah, as I said before, I, I think this is showing a lot of proof that we're probably at least going to get Goofy along here. And if we get those three, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. We're in a prime position to recreate some of the classics and I'd love to see a toy box based on, uh, what's it called? Um, what's the ghost one, Ben? Uh, it's like uh, Lonesome Ghost. Lonesome Ghost, the original uh, uh, Ghostbusters cartoon with uh, Mickey, Donald and Goofy. That would be an amazing one. Just a number of them. As I said, I think I would like to see a, um, a toy box based on the classic... Uh, uh, Donald Short with uh, Chip and Dale in the Christmas tree causing havoc in the Christmas tree. Uh, that's what these characters bring. They, they, they bring the opportunity to create brand new story for these characters that we haven't seen in a while. So, um, I don't know, super excited. I don't know how long we've gone, but so we're going to wrap it up there and uh, make sure to um, check the podcast next week. Uh, what is it us time mondays mondays 8 p.m mountain time i believe that's correct is it not ben Ch tuesdays 12 o'clock noon australian time i won't be there i'm on holidays for four weeks i might be able to do some guest appearances depending on what hotel wi-fi is going to be like um but uh if i can i'll stop in uh, if you're interested in following what i'm doing on my holiday make sure to follow me on instagram and or just follow the just follow disinfinity tv on instagram and i'm sure 
bad gamer official in the chat room will also repost some of my pics. I'm going to try and get some infinity photos and stuff um, with some famous landmarks over in the US of A. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon. <laughs>